All right, it looks like something is happening. Today is May 13th. I was making leftover Indian food and when I went to pull it out of the oven, I felt a little bit of a pop and it kind of felt like a wet pants. <laughs> so, um, the good news is it looks like my water is just leaking, um, but I haven't started labor yet which is a little bit unfortunate but right now i'm gonna eat food i'm gonna shower and then we're gonna decide what to do next but it sounds like that day for newness is coming soon we're lauren and daniel we live full time in our airstream classic traveling the u.s and working from the road a year and a half and more than 30 states later we've decided it's time for a new challenge rv life with a baby in tow and since this will be our first mini human, we're basically back to square one, having no idea what we're doing. I'm gonna have to be coaxing Daniel, I think, <laughs> on relaxation techniques because he's nervous. Yeah. But baby Fernando seems excited too. <laughs> he or she, to be determined, is moving around and totally normal. So, I'm gonna eat lunch and take a shower, and then we'll go from there. Yay! I wanted to come outside so I don't uh, alarm Lauren, but uh, I may be borderline terrified right now. I'm usually calm under pressure, but not so much right now. Looks like the baby may be coming within the next 24 hours. So um, <clears throat> I have taken all the necessary precautions. I have lined the truck seat with a shower curtain because right now we've got uh, amniotic fluid leaking. So Lauren's super chill, which is why I'm keeping myself busy. Baby bag with all the diapers and anything else we may need. Lauren packed this yesterday. Um, the unfortunate reality is that baby's not due for two more weeks. So we thought we had a little bit more time. We we're going to spend this weekend setting up the crib, getting everything ready for baby, but um, we have not done that yet. So that's because we like to somehow always wait until the last minute, um, <clears throat> even though we know we should do more planning earlier. Yeah, so that's going on. I've got some pillows back there as well. I'm packing two suitcases, one for myself and one for Lauren. She's already called her doula. So the doula is on the hook, ready to go at any given time. We are waiting because once you go into the hospital, you're on the clock. And if you don't, deliver within a set period, then they may induce Lauren and she's looking to have a natural birth. That's where we're at right now. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm just babbling, I guess. I'm not nervous. Are you nervous? Nope. So what's going on right now? I'm working. <laughs> working? Yeah. Gonna work uh, until the last minute? I mean, maybe. I don't have anything better to do. I mean, we're a little behind on all of our um, training videos and stuff for baby delivery. We could be doing that. That way we're adequately prepared for what's next. I mean, we so got this. Yeah. I think you need to turn the camera around and get some um, footage of you because you're more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been about 12 hours since my water started leaking, but definitely I'm starting to feel like things are moving around down there. Um, so. We're going to try to get some rest because we're probably going to be going to the hospital in a relatively near future. So sleep would be a good start. Got a long way to go from here. Any changes or anything? Oh, it just feels like it gets really tight every once in a while. Nothing crazy. No contractions? I mean, I think that's kind of the definition of a contraction, but no. they're really light. So this is the easy part. Is 5.40, already going into this, probably a little more tired than we probably should be entering the labor phase. We're laboring in the airstream. We're, labor we're laboring in the airstream. Contractions are a few minutes apart. Um, the reason we're not at the hospital is because we know if we go there, there's a potential for them to want to induce Lauren and we're shooting for a natural birth drug free and in order to do that we have to do a little bit of the laboring in the airstream right yeah so that means 
lots of fun contractions while we're in the airstream. Okay, this is a different kind of... Okay. Yeah. This is a different kind of leaving the airstream. Hmm. Oh, let me grab the keys. Okay. I'm locking up the airstream. This is probably the last time. No, this is definitely the last time. We leave the airstream without a baby. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Contraction. <laughs> The heavier I have to do with these in the truck, the better. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, we just made it to the air. How are you feeling? Let's do this. <laughs> this is probably a good time to mention that over the last nine months, I was introduced to the idea of hypnobirthing, which is basically utilizing meditation in childbirth. And it's pretty amazing. Although I don't know it yet, I managed to wait until I was five to six centimeters dilated before we got here. So I'm pretty uncomfortable at this point, but we made it to the hospital without having a baby in the truck. And I know Dee is counting that one as a win. Anything you want to say to the world? I'm super excited baby Fernandez is coming. She said she's super excited the baby's coming. Yes. More specifically, it means that the baby has moved down so that they're putting pressure. From here, things get a little intense. So, we'll skip to the good part. Did you already tell him what the big reveal was? I haven't, been right now I can't even see the baby until I come closer. Yeah, you can't tell from... So, I'm coming in closer, and we're going to find out the verdict. It is... It has a pink and blue hat. That's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it's what they do for people who don't choose to know the gender in advance. They give you a pink and blue hat. So. Actually, those are the standard issue hospital hats. No, are they? Yeah. What's they the verdict, Lauren? Boy? Girl? Name? This is Mr. Dash. Yes. Oh. How do you feel about the whole process? Crushed it? I mean, basically. <laughs> so, Baby Dash is officially a couple of hours old now. And he's just chilling. He's 7.2 pounds. And he's really cute. When he whines, he does this thing with his lip that's obnoxious. Very dramatic. Long arms and legs. Long arms and legs, big feet, and has. And all of dad's hair. All of the hair. <laughs> it's not a mullet, but it could be. Not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing the mullet yet. That's later. Definitely mom's nose. Mom's complexion. But that, of course, could change. Also has blue eyes, um, which would be amazing if it stayed with blue eyes. But baby's eyes can change over the course of the first six months. So we'll see what the eye color ends up being. But we at least know the hair is going to be black. And there's lots of it with some big feet and long limbs. So yeah, big feet runs in my family. So that makes sense. It's about the one thing I can honestly say that I've contributed, the big feet and the hair. And the rest of the awesomeness, that's from mama. <laughs> We're officially at the 24 hour mark. We're so, so well rested. Not even close, no. Um, I would say that on a level of one to 10 of sleep deprivation, we're probably at 
12? Oh, you're at a 12 now? Before. No, no. Oh, like before, before, right? Before. We got some okay sleep last night. Yeah, we got some. <laughs> we did. Before last night, definitely a you 12. You were definitely at a 12. I was definitely at a 12. I was. <laughs> So, I was running on adrenaline. You're on adrenaline. I was literally walking through the hallways, and there was another father here who just had his newborn, and the poor guy almost walked into a wall. I'm not even joking. <laughs> like, legitimately, I was like, I feel you. <laughs> because I was that tired, too, but I literally almost watched him walk into a wall, and I was like, I just I felt for him. Um, there was a lot of sleepy moms and dads here, and if you have kids, you totally understand it. <laughs> We did not understand that going into this. We were told. We were told, but, you know, eh, we figured, ah, not going to happen to us, you know. (laughs) Um, So baby Dash is doing really well. Unfortunately, um, we anticipated on spending this entire weekend preparing for baby. And then baby decided it wanted to show up. So (laughs) baby Dash, super fast entrance. Did not expect that. Um, kind of caught us off guard. So we still have to do all of our preparations. Like, um, one of the things I wanted to do was get the truck washed and put the baby seat in. Kind of a requirement if you're going to take a baby out of the hospital that you have a baby seat in the truck or vehicle. Don't have that set up yet. So that's a first. That's not a first. That's on the list. <laughs> Fortunately, mama and baby are a place where I could skip out of the hospital for just a little bit to go get the truck washed. I'm here now, I've just washed the exterior, I'm gonna vacuum the interior, and um, this is partially because my OCD wants to make sure the truck was completely clean before we put a baby inside, even though I obviously understand that having a baby in your truck means it's probably never gonna be clean again, but I'm gonna do my best. I feel like it's good to start off on the right foot. That's where we're at, we're getting the truck washed. much better now the back seat is all cleaned out for baby dash now whether i can figure out the car seat situation is another story yeah we're off to a good start here can't even get the bag open okay cool and this is what i need to figure out how to install man that has got some weight to it that's really heavy well you read the instructions though right oh yeah yeah i read all the instructions yeah that's yeah. probably the back. That's Daniel's obviously very intelligent brother who he elicited for help on the car seat install. <laughs> this, and then these go to the anchors, according to the video. It goes in the middle there. This goes here. Okay, now we're gonna tighten it. Nope, I did that wrong. Okay. Ugh, crap, I'm already screwing up here. Okay, this goes through, mm-hmm. through the loop here. That makes more sense. Now I'm gonna tighten this, set to make sure it's nice and snug. Mm. Also, there's a little green thing here, and that tells you if it's level. If it's not level, it's red, but right now it's green, so that means it's pretty level, which is good. So I've got this tight, I've got the anchors in place, and I've gotta bring, turn this dial, no more than an inch or two of travel. Probably overdoing it here, but make sure it's done right. Okay. That's good. Good. Okay, so the seat is, actually that was really easy. Yeah. That's not bad. Okay, so now level, anchors are in place. What is this for? Does this hold the excess? Yeah. Oh, maybe it does. <sighs> Yeah, oh, yeah, that's wanna... what it's for. Like that? Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I read the guide. Did you? You yeah. read the guide? Yeah. That's what we do in our family. We read all the instruction manuals from cover to cover. Yeah. It's the very first thing we do is the Fernandez family. The one that's still oh. in the bag, by the way. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Bring it okay. In. So let's give this a shot. Mm-hmm. It's got the 360 base, so normally coming from your side, I squeeze these triggers here, huh. pop it in place, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. And then, no, no, it goes backwards. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
Here we go. What do you think? Done. Crushed it. Well, that'll take us like a minute. Uh, yeah, like 10. <laughs> Between 10 minutes and an two hour hours, yeah. and two hours. I think we, yeah. So I think we can say the install is between 10 minutes and two hours. Got everything positioned well. There's a little indicator down here. If it's red, it means it's not locked. Like that, see, not locked, locked. What do you think? What'd you give that install? install? Uh, easy. Install five out of five flamingos. Well, thanks, Uncle Mike. Now off to the hospital. We also have to set up the baby bed, the whatever you call that thing, the bassinet, mm -hmm. right? I'm learning as we go here. Um, it's still in the box. It hasn't even been put together yet. So again, kind of a requirement. We're a little behind. We have all of the stuff that came, that was shipped in, or from the baby shower, still at our parents' house, so it's not even at the Airstream yet. So we've got to get it over to the Airstream. Friday for us was, which is, you know, when uh, Lauren started going to labor, was a work day. So literally, <laughs> it wasn't like, you know, we were, had the place even cleaned up even. So we've got to do a little bit of housekeeping um, at the Airstream before we bring the baby back. Little Dash is officially 24 hours old. He's very sleepy. Look at all his hair. <laughs> we obviously think he's basically the most adorable child that's ever been born. How do you think about the labor? I mean, that was... Women are definitely equipped to handle more pain than men. I'm telling you that firsthand. Well, so if you saw our video about our scary pregnancy complications, um, at the 20 week mark, we found out that I had complete placenta privia, which halted all of our travels and changed what our birth plan was. Basically, it just means that my placenta grew in the wrong spot and I couldn't have a natural birth. Um, thankfully, it's been one of those things that we've been watching and hoping it would move. And thankfully, three days ago, um, we had our final ultrasound, and it came down to the very last minute, but my placenta privia had fixed itself. So I got the clear for the natural birth that I wanted, and then went into labor the next day. <laughs> so my water broke while we were making lunch, um, and so we had to wait for my like, contractions to start, which, ha which happened about 12 hours later. And then... Well, you guys saw the story from there. I guess the part you didn't see was most of the actual birth because that would have been inappropriate and kind of awkward. Um, so it went really well. I only had to push for an hour before Mr. Dash made his arrival and was able to completely successfully do so with zero medication. So Dash has been doing really, really wonderful. <laughs> what do you want to say to the baby? You created a monster. Welcome to this world. Yeah, I say will. Oh. Oh. He's throwing punches, man. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. He's apparently very he's, strong. Yeah, the nurses have all said he's really strong. He threw a punch, man. Me. Michael, took your hair off. What's the matter with you? Oh, Grandma, for the first time ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael made me do it. He has the best mama in the world. And you're going to have pretty blue eyes, just like Grandma. Yes. <laughs> That's Grandpa. I'm sorry. He made me do it. We made it through night number two. So far, I think he's still really sleepy from being in my tummy because he lets us go hours at a time sleeping. Fingers crossed. We're waiting to get the official A-OK -okay from the pediatrician. And then it looks like we're going to get to go home to the Airstream. I've tried to explain to him already that the Airstream is way cooler than the hospital, but... I'm not sure he really cares as long as Dee and I come along. <laughs> okay, so we just got our official paperwork. Everybody is happy and healthy, which means we get to go all into the airstream. So I'm putting Dash up for just a minute so that we can pack up and get the heck home. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> Just let me sleep.
sleep. Want to sleep? <laughs> Must get more sleep. <laughs> Okay, so here's the situation. You okay? I'm right here. Baby Dash, see? It's going to the mama. He's now a happy camper. And Daddy is going to load up the cart here with all of the gear. Gonna head down, get the truck, and then it sounded like they were gonna let mommy put little baby Dash in the car seat, but I haven't given her any pointers on how to use it yet, so the good news is she just has to get baby Dash in the car seat downstairs and then I should have her covered, but Maybe before we leave, I'll give you a quick tip. Yeah. So to all of you other dads out there, I know you feel my pain. Insulation was a bit tricky. Um, insulation? Insulation of the car seat. Insulation? Insulation. Installing the car seat <laughs> base. You're not tired, are you? I'm so sleep deprived. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. <laughs> we are in desperate need of a shower. Some rest, although if I'm being honest, I've had more rest. And Lauren. Lauren has had a lot less rest than me. But... I feel great. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're redoing the chip challenge here and <laughs> you're making it look all super easy and I'm super exhausted. I thought there would be this moment where I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I can't believe they're letting us take him home. But now I'm just like so excited that they're letting us take him home. <laughs> Like he's never been outside and like smelled fresh air or felt sunshine. Like how amazing is that? Little baby Dash loaded up in the back seat with mama right next to him. Um, we're about to pull out of the hospital and head to Lauren's parents' house where we have the baby bed, which we have not assembled and a bunch of other stuff we've got to do today. So, all right, we've gotten home from the hospital. We've showered, we've packed up everything. And we need to get over to the Airstream to unload and get everything set up. So we are headed out with little Baby Dash. Somebody's ready to go home, huh? Justin's bad life already. Got these two locks here, two releases. Pick it up. Here we go. Check this out. Done. It Isn't was that awesome? Incredible weekend welcoming Baby Dash into the world, even if his timing was a bit unexpected. But now we get to take him home and introduce him to this crazy RV life we love. Oh, and set up said RV so that he has everything he needs there. Want to see how we set up the Airstream for Baby Dash? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Until then, my friend, make sure you wander local because as you know, it's good for the soul.